we're given the graph of f of x, and we're asked to graph g of x equals two times f of the quantity x minus three plus one. The two indicates a vertical stretch by a factor of two. The x minus three indicates a shift right three units, and the plus one on the end indicates a vertical shift up one unit. Let's record these transformations. So again, the two indicates a vertical stretch by a factor of two. The x minus three indicates a shift right three units. And finally, the plus one on the end indicates a shift up one unit. And since f of x is a segment, if we perform this transformation on both endpoints, we can then graph g of x. Let's find the endpoints for f of x. One endpoint is the ordered pair negative two comma zero. The other endpoint is one comma three. Starting with the endpoint negative two comma zero, if we want to perform a vertical stretch by a factor of two, we multiply the y coordinate by two to shift the graph right three units. We would add three to the x coordinate and then to shift the graph up one unit, we would then add one to the y coordinate which means a corresponding endpoint on g of x would have an x coordinate of negative two plus three. Again, we're adding three to shift the graph right three units. And then for the y coordinate, to perform the vertical stretch by a factor of two, we multiply the y coordinate by two, which gives us two times zero. And then to shift the graph up one unit, we then add one to the y coordinate. So simplifying, the corresponding endpoint on g of x has an x coordinate of one and a y coordinate of one. Notice negative two plus three is one, and two times zero plus one is one. And now using the other endpoint, we will perform the same transformation. So again, to shift the graph right three units, we add three to the x coordinate. To perform the vertical stretch by a factor of two, we multiply the y coordinate by two, which gives us two times three. And then to shift the graph up one unit, we add one to the y coordinate. Simplifying, the corresponding endpoint on g of x is four comma seven. And now we'll go ahead and plot these two endpoints and sketch g of x. We have one comma one, and four comma seven. This is the graph of g of x. Let's take a look at a second example. Here we're given the graph of f of x and asked to graph g of x equals one half times f of the quantity x plus two minus three. The one half indicates a vertical compression by a factor of one half. The x plus two indicates a shift left two units and the minus three on the end indicates a vertical shift down three units. Let's record the transformations. So once again, the one half indicates a vertical compression by a factor of one half. The plus two indicates a shift left two units. And the minus three on the end indicates a shift down three units. Let's find the endpoints for f of x. We have three comma negative four, and we have one comma six. Let's begin with the endpoint one comma six and perform the transformations. To shift the graph left two units, we would subtract two from the x coordinate, and therefore the x coordinate would be one minus two. To perform the vertical compression by a factor of one half, we multiply the y coordinate by one half, and then to shift the graph down three units, we then subtract three. So the y coordinate would be one half times six, and then minus three. Simplifying, we have an x coordinate of negative one, and the y coordinate is one half times six minus three, which is three minus three, which is equal to zero. Now I'll perform the same transformation on the other endpoint, which is three comma negative four. To shift the graph left two units, again we subtract two from the x coordinate. To 
perform the vertical compression by a factor of one half, we multiply the y coordinate by one half, and then to shift the graph down three units, we then subtract three. Simplifying, we have an x coordinate of three minus two, which is one, and a y coordinate of one half times negative four minus three. One half times negative four is negative two. Negative two minus three is negative five. Let's go ahead and plot these new endpoints and then sketch g of x. Negative one comma zero is here. And one comma negative five is here. This is the graph of g of x where we have a vertical compression by a factor of one half, we have a shift left two units and a shift down three units. I hope you found this helpful.